Uh, Bishop Charles Harrison Mason, the founder of the Church of God in Christ, one of the most ignominious figures in American Pentecostalism, appointed her to a very difficult task. In 1911, to pioneer raising up spiritual Deborahs with his newly formed Pentecostal denomination. The Church of God in Christ was only in existence four to five years at that time. He desired to see uh, the establishing within his national culture a Pentecost spiritual female leadership that he had observed at William J. Seymour's Azusa Street Revival. He had seen these women praying and laying hands on the sick and people being filled with the Holy Spirit. And Mason was from more of a, a Baptist background, so the traditional essence of how a man would look at a woman, you know, he didn't really have a, a, a focus at that time. But after Azusa, and, and after one of those Azusa Street sisters laid hands on him and he received the baptism, he said, I need to find me one of those women. <laughs> when I start the Church of God in Christ. He was convinced at that point that it was a need for the women's work in God's work and the work of the kingdom. Mason at Azusa experience had became, it, it became so transformational for Mason, he, he began to realize that the essential role of these Azusa Street praying females had assisted him in many uh, male pioneers within the Pentecostal movement in receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. To, spread some, to shed some light on how powerful these Azusa Street images of diversity influenced Bishop Mason's former Baptist male-dominated perspective, he passionately, like I said, within the first four years, ran looking for a woman to assist him in the process of the creation of the Church of God in Christ.